So here I am again, uh, you know, giving away diamonds. I, I've got a friend that I have met, says he wants to help. And, um, you know, I don't know how he can help exactly, but maybe he can figure something out. And I thought maybe I'd give him a few of my little red diamonds here. About eight of them. They're nice ones, you know, they're... they're um, and hemp seed oil on them, of course. Because everything I have has hemp seed oil on it. But it is, in fact, a red diamond. And, and I thought I'd give him a little ruby, too. Because, um, you know, this way he can check to make sure what I gave him is actually a diamond. Because only diamonds can scratch a ruby. Whoop! Ha <laughs> ha! One of these days I'll learn how to figure, you know, run my camera. Okay, so we're gonna look at that and and watch. Uh, I'm I'm actually rubbing, you know, and and trying to remove the scratch, but the scratch remains because <coughs> those are diamonds. You know, the thing about monopolies is they try to justify their monopoly with lies. Red diamonds uh, are not rare in fault lines at all because they form, the color is not like a pigment. It um, has to do with the size of the... Um, planes of cleavage in, inside the thing, which has to do with the depth of formation. Kimberlite pipes don't go deep enough to make colored diamonds most of the time. They're only, uh, you know, a few kilometers deep kimberlite pipes. Fault lines go all the way to the semi-molten mantle, and that's where real diamonds come from. These are real diamonds. These are from my friend in India, and they're excellent. This is from uh, Mozambique. It's a nice one. 